I am Ra. I greet you in the love and in the light of the one infinite creator. We communicate now. Question 88.1 Questioner, could you first please give me the condition of the instrument? Answer, I am Ra. The physical complex energy deficit is considerable at this space-time. There has been also a significant loss of the vital energies. However, these energies are still well within the distortion you may call strength. Question 88.2 Questioner, of all of the things that you have mentioned before for replenishing these energies, at this particular space-time, which would be most appropriate for the replenishing of both of these energies? Answer, I am Ra. As you know, there are many factors which contribute to the aiding of the strength distortions and the amelioration of distortions towards weakness in this instrument. We suggest to each that those many things which have been learned be conscientiously applied. We would single out one physical distortion for discussion. The fourth density negative minions which visit your group at this time are energizing a somewhat severe complex of imbalances in the manual appendages of this instrument and, to a lesser extent, those distortions of the thoracic region. We suggest care be taken to refrain from any unnecessary use of these appendages. As this instrument will not appreciate this suggestion we suggest the appropriate discussion. Question 88.3 Questioner I assume from this that our fifth density negative companion is still on R and R is this correct? Answer, I am Ra. Your fifth density companion is not accompanying you at this time. However, it is not resting. Question 88.4 Questioner, is the sensor that we have provided all right? It does go out prior to the end of the session. Would it be better if it did not go out prior to the end of the session? Answer, I am Ra. The new configuration of the sensor is quite helpful to the more subtle patterns of energy surrounding these workings. It would be helpful to have a continuously burning amount of sense. However, the difficulty is in providing this without overpowering this enclosure with the amount of effluvium and physical product of combustion. Having to choose betwixt allowing the sensor to finish its burning and having an overabundance of the smoke, we would suggest the former as being more helpful. Question 88.5 Questioner, the instrument has mentioned what she refers to as bleed through or being aware, during these sessions sometimes, of the communication. Would you comment on this? Answer, I am Ra. We have the mind, body, spirit complex of the instrument with us. As this entity begins to awaken from the metaphorical crib of experiencing light and activity in our density it is beginning to be aware of the movement of thought. It does not grasp these thoughts any more than your third density infant may grasp the first words it perceives. The experience should be expected to continue and is an appropriate outgrowth of the nature of these workings and of the method by which this instrument has made itself available to our words. Question 88.6 Questioner, the instrument mentioned a recurrence of the need to go to the bathroom prior to the session. Is this because of the low vital energy? Answer, I am Ra. It is part of the cause of the lowered vital energy level. This entity has been sustaining a level of the distortion you call pain which few among your peoples experience without significant training of the energies. Indeed, the stability of the entity is notable. However, the entity has thusly become drained and further has felt other distortions such as those for a variety of experiences accentuated, for this is one means of balancing the inward-looking experience of the physical pain. Due to concern for this entity such activities have been discouraged. This has further drained the entity. The will to be of service to the Creator through the means of offering itself as instrument in these working. Therefore, was given an opportunity for the testing of resolve. This enter to use some vital energy to fuel and replenish the will. No physical energy has been used by the instrument, but the vital energies were tapped so that this entity might have the opportunity to once again consciously choose to serve the one infinite creator. Question 88.7 Questioner, is the small crystal that the instrument uses upon her during the session of any benefit or detriment? Answer, I am Ra. This crystal is beneficial as long as he who has charged it is functioning in a positively oriented manner. Question 88.8. .8. Questioner, who charged the crystal? Answer, I am Ra. 
This crystal was charged for use by this instrument by the one known as Neil. Question 88.9 Questioner, it would be an abridgment of the first distortion for you to tell us if he is still functioning in a positive manner, would it not? Answer, I am Ra. We perceive you have replied to your own query. Question 88.10 Questioner, our publisher requests pictures for the book, The Law of One, that is going to press at this time. Would you comment on the advisability, the benefit, or detriment, magical or otherwise, of us using pictures of this particular setup, the instrument, and the appurtenances in the book? Answer, I am Ra. The practical advisability of such a project is completely a product of your discrimination. There are magical considerations. Firstly, if pictures be taken of a working the visual image must needs be that which is, that is, it is well for you to photograph only an actual working and no sham nor substitution of any material. There shall be no distortions which this group can avoid any more than we would wish distortions in our words. Secondly, it is inadvisable to photograph the instrument or any portion of the working room while the instrument is in trance. This is a narrow band contact and we wish to keep electrical and electromagnetic energies constant when their presence is necessary and not present at all otherwise. Question 88.11 Questioner, from what you, I'm sorry. Go ahead. If you meant to continue, continue. If not, I'll ask a question. Answer, I am Ra. We wish to state, thirdly, that once the instrumental is aware that the picture taking will be performed, that during the entire picture taking, whether before or after the working, the instrument be required to continuously respond to speech, thus assuring that no trance is imminent. Question 88.12 Questioner, from what you have told me, then, I have planned the following, we will, after the session is complete and the instrument has been awakened, and before moving the instrument, have the instrument continually talk to us while I take pictures. In addition to this I will take some other pictures as requested by the publisher. Is this the optimal filling of this requirement? Answer, I am Ra. Yes. We ask that any photographs tell the truth, that they be dated and shine with a clarity so that there is no shadow of any but genuine expression which may be offered to those which seek truth. We come as humble messengers of the law of one, desiring to decrease distortions. We ask that you, who have been our friends, work with any considerations such as above discussed, not with the thought of quickly removing an unimportant detail, but, as in all ways, regard such as another opportunity to, as the adept must, be yourselves and offer that which is in and with you without pretense of any kind. Question 88.13 Questioner, thank you. I would like to ask you as to the initial production of the Tarot, where this concept was first formed and where the Tarot was first recorded. Answer, I am Ra. The concept of the Tarot originated within the planetary influence you call Venus. Question 88.14 Questioner, was the concept given to or devised for a training tool for those inhabiting Venus at that time or was it devised by those of Venus as a training tool for those of Earth? Answer, I am Ra. The Tarot was devised by the third density population of Venus a great measure of your space-time in your past. As we have noted the third density experience of those of Venus dealt far more deeply and harmoniously with what you would call relationships with other selves, sexual energy transfer work, and philosophical or metaphysical research. The product of many, many generations of work upon what we conceived to be the archetypical mind produced the Tarot which was used by our peoples as a training aid in developing the magical personality. Question 88.15 Questioner, I'll make a guess that those of Venus of third density who were the initial ones to partially penetrate the veil gleaned information as to the nature of the archetypical mind and the veiling process and from this designed the Tarot as a method of teaching others. Is this correct? Answer, I am Ra. It is so. Question 88.16 Questioner, I will also assume, and I may not be correct, that the present list that I have of 22 names of the Tarot cards of the Major Arcana are not in exact agreement with Ra's original generation of the Tarot. Could you describe the original Tarot, first telling me if there were 22 archetypes? That must have been the same. Were they the same as the list that I read to you in a previous session or were there differences? 
Answer, I am Ra. As we have stated previously, each archetype is a concept complex and may be viewed not only by individuals but by those of the same racial and planetary influences in unique ways. Therefore, it is not informative to reconstruct the rather minor differences in descriptive terms between the Terah used by us and that used by those of Egypt and the spiritual descendants of those first students of this system of study. The one great breakthrough which was made after our work in third density was done was the proper emphasis given to the Arcanum number 22 which we have called the choice. In our own experience we were aware that such an unifying archetype existed but did not give that archetype the proper complex of concepts in order to most efficaciously use that archetype in order to promote our evolution.